survey suggested that northern women uh, wear the highest heels, towering over girls from the south by an average of three inches. Mm -hmm. Lasses from Leeds are most likely to wear six-inch spike-heeled stilettos and block wedges to raise them up by half a foot, while down in Brighton, the women are more likely to step out in a flat shoe. Mm -hmm. So, ladies, how high can you go when oh, it comes to shoes? Well, I can go a good six inches. Can you? <laughs> um, can you? Though? Well, no, I can, if I have to, for about ten minutes. Yeah. Uh, the problem is, right, when I go out in the evening, if you're getting dressed up and you've got a lovely dress on or whatever, or you're just going out for an evening out, you have to wear heels. Yes. Doesn't it just doesn't look right, really, especially when you're short like myself. Um, so I always wear heels going out, but seriously, I cannot begin to tell you how many nights those heels have ruined for mm. me because, you know, two hours even into the evening, I'm like... Oh, I can't wait to go home and get my shoes off. And the thing is, I can't take them off where I am because, A, I won't get them back on again. And it just ruins everything, doesn't it? If you take your shoes off and have them in yeah. your hand, yeah, you know, instead of a handbag. So yeah. I'm not great with them, but I, I appreciate that you have to wear them mm. with certain outfits. You wear outfits. heels all the time, though, even though you are already, you know, very tall. Yeah, I am. I am tall, and um, that comes as a, as a big surprise to most what, people. That you're tall? Yeah, people are always telling me I'm tall, and I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, five, I'm five foot nine and a half. Um, but I do like to wear heels, um, but it is getting more difficult, I think, because I did wear them all the time time when I was young but I'm sure they're getting they're getting higher yeah. you know they used to be four inches was a high heel yeah, no, when I was young no they are they I'm sure that they never used to make six inch high well, no, heels but right, they do yeah. now well, maybe because at your age you're shrinking do you think <laughs> no, I'm definitely not shrinking at my age <laughs> shrinking yet but I, you know there are rules I think when you're when you're as tall as I am there's there's a half a centimeter in it there's a half a centimeter in getting away with high heels and looking like a transvestite <laughs> don't you think because I you do totally end up looking like a bloke yeah. if you're too tall well, and your heels wearing, are too high you know if you're wearing say. a well, big fancy dress or something. it does yes. what you're wearing but I did actually used to sell my old shoes on an online auction site that always got bought by blokes because I've got big feet and that's, that's not a joke. Yeah, that's absolutely true. What so, size feet have you got? Well, eights. Oh, seven yeah. and a half, eight. Yeah, quite big. So, and also, the other thing is, the, the rule is that if I go shoe shopping, Mark has to come with me now because I always make him stand up. So, right, let me try these on. Stand up. Oh, yeah. And if he stands up, because he's tall. He's about six foot, six foot one. And if I'm taller than him, can't be bought. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Because I, I don't want to be taller than him. I wear flat shoes for, you know, general out and yeah. aboutness. But, you know, for work, I like to... It's, it's silly because you don't see our feet when we sit no. here. But I, you always laugh at me, Carol. I always put on a pair of high heel shoes. Just but, you, but you change your shoes. I come in yeah. in high heels and I wear them all day. You I come wear... in with a pair of shoes yeah. in your bag and put them on to come out here and no one sees them. No, well, look, the, these are my shoes. I've, I've, you can kind of see them at the side. Um, now, they've got a little platform in them. So I think they're they don't... High. They're quite high. High, but they're quite comfortable as well because they've got rubber on the bottom so I can still leg it even if I'm going to be late. That's a very big criteria for me. Running in high Running heels. Running in yeah. high heels, thing yeah. is, with me, because um, the thing is, I was webbed when I was a baby, um, so I was a duck. Um, so the thing is, when you're webbed, you don't have normal feet, you have splayed feet. So getting them in those pointy shoes and then having high heels on top is really hard. So I have what I call taxi shoes yes. that I put on. Well, I get in the taxi, put them on, and then I get out the taxi and take them off. So they're just for taxis, wouldn't really. It be just easy? So you can't go out without easier? a taxi. Wouldn't it be just easier for you to wear flippers? Yeah. Yeah. But, I, but I was there when they had the first platform, so I've been there, done it, had the T-shirt. Have, yes. have you ever been in a shop, tried a pair of shoes on, and then walked along like you do to see if they're, you know, if they, if, they, if you can walk in them, and then thought, I can't walk in them, and gone, yeah, I'll take them. Yes. All the time. <laughs> All the time. Do you know what they are, though, yeah. don't you? Yeah. They're, they're lying down shoes. Yes. <laughs> every, every lady has a pair of lying walk down in them. shoes. You've got to lie down in yes. them. And uh, now one, I don't know why I said it in such a high voice, but it's true. And uh, now one woman who makes the most of her heels is classical singer Catherine Jenkins. Now, talking about her battle to be taken seriously as an artist, she commented that life can be tough when you're blessed with good looks. She said it's hard being beautiful. It can work against you. It creates a certain lack of credibility. So is Catherine right to worry about her beauty or is it just something to be envied? Well, I don't know. I've never been beautiful, but I can just imagine that if you are beautiful, it's very difficult because... 
you're going to get older quicker, aren't you? Because everybody's going to judge you. You know what I mean? It, it doesn't matter if you look like us. Uh, they're no, not going to be judging. <laughs> but the thing is, if you're Catherine oh, Jenkins thanks, or Marilyn Monroe and you're exceptional and, you know, you're flawless... Every little wrinkle, every yeah. bit, every mm. every year that comes up, you you see it more, surely. But, but that's because um, they've peaked early. You know, yeah. we're kind of peaking late. So yeah. you know, a lot of people Goodness. don't know what we used to look like, which is brilliant <laughs> because you know, as we get older, people expect you to get old if you're already old. Yeah, yeah. When you're like a young starlet, like you know, Bridget Bardo was, you know, maybe at 19 yeah. or something, people are always going to look at her and think, oh, she looks, she doesn't look as good as she used to. Well, of course she doesn't. She's old, but. Who says that old women can't be beautiful? Absolutely. See, the thing is with you, Sherry, you might think you're not beautiful, you've never been beautiful, you're a beautiful person. Oh. And that's what counts. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, no, I, I wasn't can, joking. I can kind of yeah. understand it in a way because um, my sister Maureen, who was always considered oh, the really beautiful one out for all the girls, you know, when we were, when we were a group and everyone used to come up and go, oh, your sister Maureen's beautiful, you're the pretty one. And for, for, for her, I mean, it was great, but it was like, I want to stand out for something more than that, you know, because it was like, oh, Bernie's got a great voice and you move well and this, that, oh, and you're the pretty one. Do you think that's and what also, Catherine Jenkins is, and is also meaning? As she's, yeah, I think that's what Catherine Jenkins means. And also, as Maureen's getting older, she, the getting older process is affecting her more mm. because she's worried that that's all she's ever been about. So, I, was, I mean, I would like to have a little bit of that worry. It would be nice, wouldn't it? I was pig ugly as a teenager, so I'm just grateful that it's kind of got better as I've got... I've grown into my face, as my dad says. <laughs> <laughs> there's still room for growth. Yeah, there's still yes. room for growth, yeah. Do you know, apparently your nose and ears keep growing. What a hideous thought. Hmm. We're taking a quick break here. But when we return, which no-go areas mean a man...